How we looking, y'all? Let's get it. We're back in first 10 4. First three. And then it commanded. And commanded to abstain from me. Right. Which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. This is the key. For them that believe and know the truth. See, y'all, that separates everything. Anybody from you, all y'all have to ask them, what is the belief and the truth about our diet? Right. There ain't no other law set of laws that said, it's thou shalt jump right. in the areas of the swamp. Right. Thou shalt enjoy listeners and walkers. Watch, don't Feet here. No, it ain't saying that. Thou shalt enjoy the chitterling or entrance. <laughs> what they what they doing is adding to the scripture. That's right. You know, they'll read that and then on what they say what do they understand they see I can eat whatever as long as I pray over. Right. But they not reading the verses received that. On dying. Right. You have to take them back. If you're gonna do it, then you gotta go back to the beginning. Right. That's right, because if that's the case, you can pray over anything, any quickness, and that opens the door wide up. Cannibalism, that means all Jeffrey up. Donald was right. Yeah, right. That means you can Jeffrey pray Donald. over cannibalism. Keep on looking at this baby licking your chops. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it, y'all. First ten four. First four. But every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. Now, is man a creature? Yes. yes. So you got to count that too, but see, they ain't gonna say that. Well, no, it don't really mean that. Exactly. That's what we want right, you to right, say. Right. It don't right. mean that. Right. But what everything that the Most High, because we started off in the faith and the truth, and this the law. Right. Every creature that God made that's righteous can be good to eat. What this is talking about, it's talking about vegetarians. Right. People that are telling you we should eat no meat. Mm -hmm. Only herbs. Well, without meat, you're going to lose a lot of nutrients, protein, and power. So, but it ain't about that, what you're going to lose. We ain't, we ain't got to get medical on. It's about obedience to the law. Right. The law say, you can eat it. It's right. cool. Right. So anybody coming behind it and saying that you can't eat it and you and you uh, commit the sin by eating mm. meat, you feel me? Then they in violation. Now if you choose not to eat meat, then that's your own personal thing. Right. We ain't got no problem with that. We know brothers that don't eat meat. Period. Right. You know what I'm saying? But for you to go and command and teach and say, well, look, you sinning because you eating chicken right. or beef right. going to the dietary law, you're not. Now, if you want to just be on the veggie diet, that's, then that's, that's cool. We have no problem with that. Right. So we can't come on that other side and be like, bro, you tripping. Right. You a vegetarian. We ain't going to hit you up with, no, well, how you going to do the Passover? The Passover ain't about meat because Christ was the lamb. Right. So we have to clearly understand that. So how you want to correct your diet, as long as your diet is right here, right. seed bearing herb. <laughs> So this causes a point, even if you are a vegetarian, you got to really look at mushroom. Is mushroom a seed bearing herb or is it a fungus? It's a fungus. So, but it, 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 wow. they say it's something out there, but I ain't done enough. So what we do, uh, majority of us, if you if, if you got any doubt about this, the best thing to do is hold off till it can be proved. Either way, better be safe than sorry. You know. So y'all, that's, that's kind of how we say because it's talking about your consciousness. It's your conscience going back to Big Mama in the kitchen. It's your consciousness going back to what you used to eat as a child. Even though you said it used to always make my head hurt, but I used to love the taste of that. Well, if Jack Daniels crack or heroin or all them other used to taste good, but the end result is they rot your teeth out of whatever they're doing. If it's causing them problems, everything that tastes good ain't good for you. Right. right. Let's understand that. Eating non-laters every day for a week ain't good for you. <laughs> Believe me, I know. I got about 13 good teeth left. <laughs> Let's get it. Verse 5. 
Lord is sanctified by the word of God oh. and prayer. It said it's made holy by the word of God and prayer. So sanctification, you got to go to where it's sanctified and made holy. That's Every set creature apart. set apart. Where was anything outside this set apart? Let me read it. Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 45. You go into that, y'all just write that down. You shall therefore put difference between clean beef and unclean. That's right. And between unclean fowl and clean. And you shall not make your soul abominable by beef or by fire, or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. Right. And you shall be holy unto me, for I the Lord am holy. And have seven you from other people that you should be mine. That's right. So even in our dad, even in getting on the ark before Moses ever put the law down, Noah separated the same beast for us. Seven clean pairs. So for every lamb, male and female, that was set. For every unclean, there was two sets. There was two sets of pigs, male and female, seven sets of lamb. Clean like that. So the, the clean always overpowered the unclean. Why did we have to have unclean on there? To clean up everything so that you have clean meat. The swine is to clean up all of the field. That was our trash compactor. The, the shrimp lobster clean the bottom of the ocean so that you be able to eat your tilapia and jack size. The catfish, they clean up just like your fish tank. You go get them algae, those are baby catfish. Clean all the doo doo off, the, off, the, off you went so you can look pretty at your other fish. So, y'all, we have to understand why those things are allowed, the unclean are allowed. Just like the unclean human beings are allowed on this earth to keep you in the right position so you can look at that wickedness and say, I don't want a part of that. The land of Canaan and those Canaanites. What you got to get? And scripturally speaking, uh, that 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11, eloquently states, when I was a child, I spanked as a child. That's right. And I understood as a child. Right. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put childish things behind me. What was that 1 Corinthians 11? 1 Corinthians, what? 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. Right. Verse 11. That's what we're talking about, y'all. So those childish things we got to put away. And our consciousness of warring with each other on petty subjects, we got to put away those childish things. That's why the Most High said, be, if you be angry, but in malice, be children. Mm -hmm. See, we can't have that malice where in your heart I hate somebody. And children don't have malice like that. They fight, but guess what? By lunchtime, what they do? Play. Yo, we got to have that mindset that you don't let the sun go down on your anger with your brethren of the faith. You don't want that. Let's get some more of that. Is it you finished that? Okay, give me that Ephesians 5. Right when it says, uh, sanctify by the word is with. And which is 5 and 21. 26. Y'all, and there's plenty more to understand this. So when they go to that first 10 4 on you, all this Romans 14 that we in now talking about, uh, you can do whatever you want, you can eat whatever you want. It starts off, everyone start off at the beginning. Faith and truth. Now if your faith is in another doctrine, then you probably can use that, but you don't need to be in this book. You got it. Okay, Ephesians 5 and 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. By the what? By the word. By the word. The washing of the water by the word. Ephesians 5 26. So we understand what washes anything clean is the word. So if word washing is the cleansing, is, show us where word washing says you can eat whatever you want to eat. And it's spoken by the most high. Uh. <laughs> right. That's what I'm uh, I got another one, Daniel. Go ahead and write this down. John 15, verse 3. Now ye are clean through the word. What you clean through mouth? Through the word. That's right. Which I have spoken unto you. So, y'all, it's self-explanatory, but we're going to get back to that uh, Romans 14 now because we wanted to clear all that up. Because that's the first two, two books they're going to bring to you and say we can eat as long as we pray over Now, what if that's road key? Huh? Y'all don't run over a squirrel who ain't stuck. Get that good meat. We can pray over that later.